This is the 12th section of the integration chapter, and this actually may not be in your book. It's an extra section that was added, and it's all about just appreciating what integration is. Now, you'll know that when you do numerical integration, what we do is we find like the the width of some strips. So we have a finite number of strips. So let's say we've got uh, let's do four strips yeah and then what we do these widths are all the same uh, width yeah and then we find the uh, the width um, of each one which we call the height and the the lengths of the two paras, parallel sides which are the y values and uh, what we said when we did that that section was that if you've got more strips you have better accuracy but what if I increase the number of strips to 100 or a thousand or 10,000 or a million what if I have an infinite number of strips or well, an infinite number of strips would actually give you the exact area but are we going to sit and calculate an infinite number of strips no but this is where integration comes in and integration is basically the calculation you do as you approach an infinite number of strips. So we're going to be looking at this bit over here. What does this mean? So we recognize the sigma notation. So this is the sum of um, a function x between values of a and b. So let me write this down here. So the a and b, you would have seen those before. They're like your limits. So x equals a x equals b so this is our limits aren't they so this would be the lower limit a and this would be our upper limit here b yeah so you're you're used to seeing that so let's just draw a diagram so we can uh, put those on so we have our limits here a and b um then it has this bit over here the limit as delta x tends to or approaches uh, zero now what's that all about well let's have a look at the other side so we've got this f of x now when you work out f of x what are you doing you're working out the the height of the bar aren't you so it's y that you're working out so you're working out actually the height of each one of these little thin strips. So you could think of this bit here as like the height. And delta x represents the width of the strip. Remember delta x represents a small change in x. So you can think of that as the width of the strip. Now, because these strips are so narrow, we don't bother with uh, trapezii or trapeziums anymore. We just think of them as like little single lines like this. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're finding the height of each one. They've become so thin, these trapezii, that we can just think of them as almost like a rectangle of height f of x and width delta x. So this delta x approaching zero is basically saying as the width approaches zero, as the width of the strip approaches zero. So as the width approaches or tends to zero. So that's what that bit means. So the whole thing together basically means that we have got uh, these strips. Um, between values of a and b so that's the height of each strip and each strip has a width of delta x a, a, a small value of x and that width is getting narrower and narrower and narrower it's approaching zero and obviously we're going to have more and more strips and we said more strips equals better accuracy now we're not going to sit down and work that out but what that equals as delta x tends to zero, what we get is 
this the integration of f of x dx and notice how there's some similarities here yeah you've got f of x here uh, f of x here you've got the sum symbol here and this symbol here stands for the an infinite sum then we've got our limits a and b we've got our limits at a and b and here we've got delta x and here we've got dx so it's it's like very similar just written in a, a slightly different way but as long as we appreciate that if you see a question like this it means integration then you can use the integration to find the exact value so here's an example uh, this is a um, sketch of a curve and the equation of that curve is at y equals sine x the area under the curve between one of two can be thought of as a series of thin strips of height y or f of x and width delta x calculate uh, and i'll write this out here the limit as delta x or the width tends to zero of the sum of these strips between one and two of sine x times by delta x now we just need to know what does that mean well here's our infinite sum replacing sigma here's our two limits two and one we still have the sine x and delta x becomes dx that's just uh, a standing integration isn't it that's all we do on this question but if you don't appreciate that this is basically integration here you're not going to know what to do and you might be sitting there trying to calculate the widths of of strips which actually the integration does for you an infinite number of strips right so uh, we integrate um, sine x which will become negative cos x between the limits of two and one now remember whenever we have integration with trigonometry we deal only in radians so this is going to be negative cos of two minus the negative cos of one so let's work that out and see what we get and uh, let's do that make sure i'm in radians shifts menu so i'm now in radians so uh, negative cos 2 minus negative cos 1 and i get 0.95 six four oops four four blah 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 and we want the answer to four significant figures so one sorry one two three four so that would be our answer for that one now you can always check your answer when you do these integrations um, your integration button which is underneath the menu setup button so if you press that and we type in uh, sine x or uh, sine and we use the button next to it to, to get x close brackets then we'll need to scroll across to the right and type our limits in so I'll do one at the bottom scroll across again type in the upper limit of two and there we go we we get the answer for that one without doing any work in use it as a check um, don't just type this in, in your calculator and write an answer down because you'll lose marks for not doing this that integration button is for a check only right now normally at this point I would say do exercise 11 L on page 330 but you may not have exercise 11 L on page 330 so I've put the exercise here for you to do now at this point you'll probably pause the video because on the next slide are going to be the answers so pause it have a go and then when you're ready you can press play and get the answers so here are the answers for the exercise check that these are the answers 
that you've got.